Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Tom Nixon with Ready to Speak. You know, I have been working on uh, the storytelling module for my upcoming online class, and I've got a few quick tips for you, a few little takeaways that might prove very useful for you in just a quick little video. And the first quick point that I want to bring to you today is to start small. Use little tiny stories and thread them throughout your presentation. They will add a human element to what you're talking about, even if it's data-driven and loads of, of uh, technical information. Those little stories will create a much closer connection with your audience. Another really good tip is about where to find stories. Now, a lot of people struggle when it comes time to trying to figure out where's that perfect story for this situation that I want to discuss. Well, look close. Look to your origin story, to the thing that caused you to become the person you are. And those origin stories, you can have dozens of them and they can be long or they can be very, very short. But look for the, to tell people the reason why you are so passionate about what you're passionate about. And then, if you need additional stories or if you want to have stories that are not necessarily about you, look to your clients, talk to your clients, interview them, sit down with them and say, what is it about our company that makes you want to work with us? Or talk to your uh, coworkers, pull the stories out of them. What makes them passionate about what they want to talk about? There's stories everywhere. Everybody's got a story about why they are who they are and why they are where they are in the world. Talk to them, interview them, your, your co-workers, your clients, your suppliers even. Uh, people who are uh, uh, in uh, a similar situation but in a different company or in a different part of the industry. Those are all great sources for interesting stories. So don't necessarily look for these big overarching things that, that the big superstar speakers use. And they're great stories. They're, their signature stories are things that they've developed over years and years and years. The stories that you can use though are right around you, that happen every day, there are people that you know. Everybody's got a story for why they are who they are. So look for that. Another great tip that I find is very, very useful is that most stories, maybe every story should have a takeaway. Why is the audience need to be listening to this? What is it about your topic and about this story that will enrich their experience, will enrich their lives? And finally, one of the uh, criticisms or concerns I hear a lot is people will tell me that they are in a business that requires data, that requires facts. They're engineers or they're technicians or they're scientists. Things that they need to deliver to their audience have to be factual. And they say, stories don't belong in what I do. And I think that that's a mistake. I think that you can deliver the data, you can show the, the pie charts, you can show the Excel files, and you can talk about people who have experienced this and who have used this or who have dealt with this, these situations. Add that human element with a story and you will enrich your experience, you will enrich the audience's experience, you will enrich the, uh, their ability to understand why this is important to them. After all, even the most data-driven person, and I've spoken to a lot of engineers and a lot of uh, people in the fields that they say that they're all about data. Even the most data-driven person is still a human being. They still have children, they still have grandchildren, they still have nieces and nephews and parents and all the things that make us human. And telling a story, even if it's a quick story, even if it's a short story, will help them understand why this is relevant to them. So those are my four storytelling tips today. I hope they've uh, helped you a little bit. And I look forward to talking to you real soon. Bye-bye.